Hello everyone. So in this video, what we are going to do is to write a data, create a data source, and this is going to be load by script type data source. The goal here is to call the flow designer action that we have created before. And once we have the outputs, so as we have outputs in our flow designer action, we are going to take these outputs and then use those uh, variables in order to send those um, the values that we have in our outputs in into our staging table so while we are creating the data source we are going to also um, have our staging table so let's see that in action now so let's create our data source so let's look for data source here click on create so the first thing here i'm going to give a name so daily summary data import and I'm going to have also my import set table, which is my staging table here. So this one and the type is going to be custom load by script. Okay, we are going to write a script and click on submit. So we are going to just create the data source now. Now let's write the script. So the first thing is just take the code snippet that you have in your um, flow designer action. Okay, the following codes then just paste it here this is the first part calling the flow designer action and then we will have the result in each different outputs that we have here so, and uh, this is going to be summary one array summary to array and date info array okay the next thing as we know these are arrays we are going to run a loop okay on these arrays and uh, it will the loop will be ending it will go until the it will take the entire length of the arrays here okay so the var uh, i equal to zero var inferior to smaller than the uh, length of a summary one array so we can take any array that we want here okay and then what we are going to do is basically accessing uh, the values that we want we want confirm cases we want recover cases we want dead cases we want date and country so i'm going to create here for example var total confirm so this is the variable a local variable and then i have the array and i'm accessing the values using the properties if you remember we have summary one array and then an object and then we have properties like confirm cases dead cases and we have summary two array uh, error, and then we have object like uh, dead cases and country and we have the same thing for example for date so we are basically creating local variables like total confirm total recover total deaths and we are accessing the variables by using the following syntax here summary two array for the total deaths and then we are going to access in deaths okay this is the property that I have created. Uh, sorry, it was dead cases. This is a property that I have created before, and uh, I'm going to the same doing. The, I'm doing the same thing for country. I'm going to do the same thing for the date info. So basically, taking all the values that we have in our um, outputs, but with the with the, with this syntax, basically the object and then the properties that we have in these uh, objects and taking those values and storing it in each individual local variables like total confirm total recover var total that and what country okay and also var date so and after that what we are going to do within the same loop is we are going to basically uh, create a fields in our staging table and having those values okay we're gonna send those values to those to these specific fields so total confirm total cover total that country and date we will have to send that to those fields so we are creating here an object called map which will have the following the following property so it's going to be u underscore total underscore confirmed it will have for example total confirmed cases and then I'm going to apply the same logic, for example, for total recover, for total death, for total um, for country, and date. Okay, so this is what we are creating an object with these uh, pairs. Okay, property and, and values. 
okay so name values pairs okay so this is like the map that we are creating this is a map object and the the u total underscore u total underscore confirm u total underscore recover these are the field names that will that i will have for my staging tables that's why i'm naming it like this and then we are going to use um basically a method called insert uh, which will basically insert the map the map object into our staging table so i'm gonna write import set table dot insert i will mention into parentheses the map object and what we, it will do is basically um, creating rows for my staging tables okay for my staging table so it's going to create the first row with the values of total confirm, total recover, total that country and date with the fields name uh, u underscore total confirm and so on. And the first second row it will add values. So each time it will add values, it will basically uh, creating rows into my staging table. So this is the entire code that we have to write if you want to insert uh, take the values from uh, an external source for example here from uh, from output given by flow designer action so now we have done with our script and uh, it's time to test if this is going to actually uh, insert all the recalls into our staging table or not so what you can do for that basically uh, if you scroll down let's see, and you will have load all records Okay, click on load all records you can do a test if you want and then this is will start to create a import set and creating the staging table and you can see we have a success message here we have uh, successfully uh, loaded some data into our uh, staging table okay we have created the table and inserted the table now let's click on import set and see uh, in the import set rows so we have all these uh, uh, rows created we have record created okay so this is the basically the result that we should get okay we have the result for example here for Australia and yeah total confirmed cases total recovered cases total that and we have the date okay the next thing is to know uh, we are going to do a create a transform map in order to take the data that we have in our staging table and then put it in our target table which is going to be our COVID-19 cases table Thank you for watching.